Okay, so today I want to talk about using starts with and ends with. These are two string functions that have been recently added into JavaScript. And I also want to talk about string finding in general with a bunch of other methods just to give some context for where this starts with and ends with is working. Okay, so let's just jump right in here. So I have a sentence that I've created and I put a little Unicode character, one of these emoticons in here, just to show the difference between that and some of the regular characters that uh, we deal with with a string. Okay, so I've got my sentence. I'm figuring out the length of that string sentence just so I can use it um, in some of my methods if I want. Um, my first few uh, console log statements here. I'm going to use index of, which starts at the beginning of a string and it scans through the string looking for some match. Now this could be one character, two characters, ten characters. It doesn't matter how many characters, it's just some string and we're looking for a match for the whole thing. Beginning at position 18. So that's what index of is going to return. It's going to give us the beginning of that match. Last index does the exact same thing. It just it starts at the end of the string and scans backwards. The numbering is still the same, so it's still 0 through, I think, 19 characters here. Now, this last one, the emoticon, this Unicode character, this counts as two characters. So that's where the oddity comes in. Now, includes, this is going to return just a true or false. Index of, last index of, is going to give us back a number. And you can see that's what I'm comparing it to. So the position in the string for both of those. Includes is going to return true or false. So I'm doing comparison here to get a true or false value back, but if I remove this, we'd see 18 coming up as the length. So let's run this. There we go. So for the first two, we're getting 18 back. The includes gives us a true, saying, yes, it did find this thing. Now I could change that to something else. Say I'm looking for a W inside there. Run this again. So true, yes, it did find a W. What about an X? False. Okay, so it didn't find that. And there is no X inside of here. Uh, this again can be any length, any string at all that we want to do a match with. Sentence.match wants to get a regular expression. So I'm saying anything in this set. So either a capital H or a lowercase O. Do you find it? If so, where? Give me back an array of all the matches. So this matched, then I had three O's, so this first H, and then this O, this O, this O, all four things matched, that's what we get back here. If there is no match for this, so let's say S, there is no S inside there. There we go, null. Don't know if you're hearing the snoring, but uh, my boxers are snoring in the background behind me here. <laughs> okay, so null is what we get back for the match if there is no match for the regular expression that you're passing in. Now, if you're using the actual regular expression methods like test um, or exec, you're going to get a different value back. So here we're getting a false saying that inside the sentence we don't have a match for this. If I change it back to what I had originally, true. Now we are getting a match for this. Okay, so we got 18 for that, we got an 18 for this, we've got false. This is our array or the null, depending on what it is. And for this one, we got back a true or false. Okay, so that's the first bunch. I'm going to jump ahead here a little bit. Now, char at, this is going to find a character at a specific position. So at position zero, is the, that character an H, capital H? Yes, it will be. So if I run this now, I'm going to save this. There we go. True, it was at that position. If I write character at position 18, what I get back is sort of half the value of this because it takes up two characters, so I'm only getting half the value, and that's why we get this little question mark here. It's an unknown character. It's something that's outside the range. So we have no match for the thing at position 18, but if I say substring, give me everything starting at position 18, so 18 and the next character, you can see I've got 
there's the little hand, and then there's another character in here. So this is the remaining digits that made up that whole um, four bytes for this Unicode character. So that's why we get the two back here. All right, so all that to say, we've got all these different options that we can use to search through strings to find things. And now, because finding something at the beginning or at the end of a string, because this is something that is very common to do, now we can check starts with or ends with. So I can provide anything, one or more. So with a capital H, yes. Lowercase h, no, it didn't start with that. You can also provide a position with either starts with or ends with. So going to position 18, from that point on, does the rest of the string, it's kind of like doing a substring at that point, from this point on, does it begin with this? Well, we get a true for that. So this was giving us a false when we were trying to do an exact match for where it was located, char at 18, but starts with, because we can put in more than one character, this is going to work for us. Ends with, does it have this at the very end? Yes, it does. Okay, and that's it. That starts with, ends with, and a whole bunch of other methods that you can use. Um, this code file, if you want a copy of this, this JavaScript file, there's a link to it uh, down in the description. You can grab a copy of that. And as always, thanks for watching.